Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today what I'm going to do is show you how to take a photograph and modify it in Word so that it can be sized correctly for the final portrait drawing. So first go to File in Word, New Blank Document. And you should have already picked the photograph out. I put it on my screen so I can just drag it in. And you have two options. You can take any photograph and you can keep it vertical, which is portrait, or horizontal, which is landscape. This is a landscape photograph or horizontal photograph. You can also change it to vertical. And if you happen to have a square photograph, you can change it to either or. So first what you want to do is go to layout. And again, if you're going to change the orientation, which I am, I'm going to go to landscape. Then I'm going to go to margins and go to narrow. You need to do both of these steps um, so that you have the correct amount of space to work. Again, if your picture is vertical or portrait, you would not change the orientation. You would just change the margins. Um, also be at maybe 81%, 79% or so, so that you can see the whole screen while you're working. Now I'm going to double click on the photograph. And in the right corner, you see what the height and width are. We need it to be 7 by 9 or 9 by 7, depending on what orientation. So because this is a horizontal photograph, I need it to be 7 I'm sorry, seven high and 9 wide. So first I'm going to start with the width, the width 9.0, hit enter or return. The height now is at 5.81, which is not enough. So I'm going to put in 7.0, hit enter. Now the width is too big, that's okay. I can crop. So when I click on crop, when the photo is selected, I get a thick black line with a white outline. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and hold. Again, if nothing happens, you haven't really selected it. It should not squash the photograph, it should just crop into it. So you know that you're getting a crop if you've got like a gray over on one of the sides and then a thin white line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the width as close as I can to 9.0. I got 9.1. And then I can click on my photograph and I can move it as long as it's within the boundaries of that rectangle that has a cropped size. I can move it and shift it to where I want to center my photograph to be. I like how it looks right there. I click off the side. I click back on. See it's 7 by 9. It's what I want. And then you're going to go to File and you're going to save as your name and then you're going to airdrop that photograph to me. All right, now, let's just say I wanted this photograph, but I wanted to change it to a vertical or portrait. What I could do is I could now go to portrait, so I flip it. You can see the photograph's cut off, that's okay. I double click on it, now I'm gonna change it. This time I want my height to be nine and my width to be seven, so I'm gonna put 9.0 and hit return. And now you can see the width is too wide, so I go to crop. I select it and hold. Again, if it's not selected, it will not uh, move. As you can see, I am now cropping again. Now I want the width to be seven. Don't freak out, I just want to use this to show you how this would work. So right, seven, nine by seven exactly. You can tell I'm not gonna use this photograph from that side. But now what I can do is I can shift the photograph again, staying within the boundary of that rectangle. And I can select what I want to keep, and I clip off to the side, click back on it to just double check. It is 9 by 7. And no matter what, before you save the photograph, you want to look and make sure, is everything clear and crisp, like here around the eyes and around the mouth, or is it pixelated? If you have a very blurry or pixelated photo, you're not going to want to use this for the final. But this would be clear. I'm not going to select it. I think too much is being cropped out, but I'm just kind of letting you know that beforehand. And again, you would file, save as, save it your own name, and put it to the desktop. That way you can easily airdrop it to me, and I am the one who's going to be responsible for printing. Again, this is how you take a photograph in Word and change it to vertical and horizontal orientation, and how you size it appropriately for the project that we are going to be working on. Thank you.